Hi, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach and founder at CommitmentConnection.com. And in today's video, I'm going to tell you the number one rule for attracting and keeping a guy in a long-term committed relationship. Um, now, I realize this may be the first time you've ever visited our site, and so I just wanted to give you a little bit of a background on me uh, before we get started. Um, I, I grew up in a broken home. Um, I came from a family of dysfunctional relationships, um, and when I became an adult, I kind of brought a lot of that dysfunction into creating relationships that I had in my life. And so um, originally I got into the dating industry as a client. I came in um, because I really wanted to figure out what I was doing wrong. You know, why was I having such a hard time um, attracting an awesome woman uh, for a long-term um, relationship that would lead to marriage and having kids? And, uh, I, you know, I figured I, I was just like, it, it shouldn't, it doesn't seem like it should be this hard. And so um, I spent years kind of doing trial and error, learning everything I could. I'm a huge nerd, and I um, really spent a lot of time just studying things, uh, going out there and approaching women, meeting as many, as many women as I could. Eventually, I got really good at getting into relationships, and um, guys started coming to me to get advice. And eventually, I ended up becoming a, uh, a men's dating coach. And to keep a long story short... Um, at some point, I, I eventually switched over and started helping women um, because I learned a lot about what men, uh, what men really wanted, what um, big frustrations they had, what challenges they had. You know why they would pick one woman for a long-term relationship and another woman just to be a casual fling, and. Um, I brought that information over to the women's side. Now uh, I've our, our dating advice. Uh, our dating advice here each month reaches uh, millions of women every single month, and um, I've helped a lot of women get into uh, long-term committed relationships. I've helped women get married. Um, our advice has helped uh, uh, heal broken hearts. I've helped um, uh, fix broken relationships. Um, and there's, there's been a lot of really cool things that the women from our community have gone on and done in their own relationships in attracting uh, men. And I've learned a lot from that. And I've taken all that information and put it together to uh, uh, bring a lot of this stuff to you right now. But first, I want to set the record straight. You know, I'm not here to be your guru. I don't have everything figured out. I'm not going to pretend like I have all the answers for you. What I do is I study patterns. I look at what works, what doesn't work, um, why some women stay in long relationships, why some women seem to be in these patterns of attracting the same wrong guy over and over again. You know, what? why does a guy pull away? What makes him want to come back? What, um, you know, what helps relationships? What hurts relationships? I spend a lot of time studying research. I spend a lot of time looking at uh, uh, just tons and tons of different um, information from different sources in order to give you uh, the best information that you can possibly have on this topic. So what's the number one difference between a woman who attracts a guy and keeps him and a woman who doesn't? And so um, there, there's a rule that I want you to kind of uh, pay attention to and it's something that um, most women either they don't know about it at all or they um, misconstrue what this rule actually means, thinking that it means that they need to pretend like they're someone they're not or um, act different than uh, they would normally act or try to be somebody that they, they wouldn't normally want to be. And uh, I, I don't agree with that at all. This, uh, so, so let me tell you what the rule is first. The rule is that um, the more masculine a man is, the more that you need to connect to your feminine in order to attract and keep him. And like I said, it's not about uh, being somebody that you're not. It's not about um, trying to pretend. It's really about connecting with uh, the biological parts of yourself and 
Um, you know, I, I've, I've talked to a little, a lot of women who, that have done this and really connect to their feminine and they say that it's relaxing to them. Like it makes them feel carefree and better. And it just, it's kind of empowering for a lot of them. And, uh, um, so anyway, uh, that's what you need to know in order to, um, if you want to keep, if you want to attract and keep a man in a long-term committed relationship, um, you need to connect with your feminine. And you need to connect with it uh, to the extent, at least, that he is a masculine man. And so, um, what does that mean? Uh, we're going to talk about that in some of these future videos. And um, I'm going to give you uh, tons of great tips on really how to attract and keep the guy that you want. So, uh, thanks for that. Uh, thanks for watching. And if um, if you haven't subscribed yet to our channel, our YouTube channel, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. I think it's on the bottom right-hand side of this video uh, to get more updates and more videos and lots of cool stuff and, and be a, uh, an even bigger part of our community here.